several cards here today. Some of them I have uh, mentioned earlier, but uh, we'll definitely pray over them. We uh, got a card from Jilda. Miss Ethel is pain-free, folks, and she's going home after Christmas. Thank you, God. That's some prayers have definitely been answered, and we will continue to pray for Ethel. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Bernard's co-worker, Gary Kelly, uh, he has been in the hospital for about three weeks, I think. Bernard? You got an update? Oh. Thank you, Bernard. Uh, I'm going to lift his family. John, his wife's name is Beth. Beth? Yeah. Okay. Help me. Let's remember Reuben. Uh, Adam and Lisa are home with him. Uh, again, like I said, I think he's been tested, but he was okay with that, so it sounds like it might be the flu. Let's just remember them. Uh, I know they were supposed to be here. I got a card uh, that says Brett Harper has tested positive for COVID. So let's remember him. Uh, we got the news of Andrea and her heart issues this week. Let's just lift them, uh, which we will. Uh, okay, here's, here's my one. Uh, I'm going to read this. It says, pray for me that God will forgive me for my sins and give me strength. And this is from our brother Chris Smith. Chris, if, you, if you've prayed this, not only will he forgive you, he has forgiven you. Bow with me, please. Father, we do rejoice today with Jilda and, and Ethel, Father, on, on Ethel's uh, news of being pain-free. We know what all she's been through, Father God. We just rejoice and, and thank you for this blessing, Father, and continue to give her the, the comfort that she needs and the help that she needs. And Father, I lift Reuben to you and Adam and Lisa this morning, Father, bring Reuben back to his health and whatever that is. I pray, Father, that it clear up quickly. And, dear Lord, I lift Beth Kelly to you uh, on the sad news that we just received, Father, of Gary passing from COVID. I lift that family to you, Father. Doc. That peace that Gary talked about today, Father, oh, they need it. They need it bad now, Father. And only you can provide that peace that passes all understanding, Father. You promise us that. And we believe you'll cover that family, dear Lord. And we ask that you be with Brett and Andrea, Father. I pray that uh, Brett have a mild case of this COVID and recover quickly. And Lord, I lift sweet Andrea to you and the steps and the issues that she's about to test, that she's about to come get started on uh, the issues with her heart, dear Lord. And others on our prayer list, I continue to lift to you, Father. And Dear Lord, I just lift my brother Chris to you. Father God, you tell us, we even read about it, but we know, Father God, and for you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in loving kindness for all who call upon you. You tell us that, Father, and we read that in Psalms. Today, Lord, Chris Smith is calling upon you, Father, for that forgiveness that you're so free willing to give, Father. We thank you for that. And dear Lord, I pray for during this Christmas time, Father God, make us aware of the, the people that were in that story, the types of people that are going through issues this time of year and that are hurting and that may have needs that we're not aware of, Father God. Point those out to us, Father. Let us be willing to spread the good news, Father, that Jesus Christ has come here and has died for us, loves us. And we can take that gift, Father, 
to be with you and him forever. And we thank you for that gift, Father. This, that's a true gift of this season. Dear Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name I pray this. Amen.